So here's something interesting. An ex-Microsoft developer is created Android 13 for the Surface Duo 1. Yes, Android 13. The software that Microsoft recently, when asked about bringing to the Surface Duo 1 and 2, said no comment. We would like to not comment on that. Because they're done with the Surface Duo 1 and 2. Awesome. The community is not done with the Duo 1 and 2. We already know Gus33000 created Windows 10 fully operational. I think in Windows 11 too. Fully operational on the Duo 1 and 2. <clears throat> that was amazing, right? Now you can run Windows completely without any hassle on the Duo 1 and 2. And now we have this guy on Twitter, Spinner, who now got Android 13 on the Duo 1. I'm not sure about Duo 2, but definitely the Duo 1, as we can see in this video. And based on what I understand, <clears throat> they're also going to eventually be bringing Duo, uh, sorry, Android 14 to the Duo 1. So, 13 and 14 to the Duo 1. Now we're at a point where the Surface Duo is going to continue to get updates, continue to become a great device, but not because of Microsoft. Microsoft is... They gave up on the Surface Duo 1. They gave up on the Surface Duo 2. And now <clears throat> they're moved on. But the community has not. And this is so freaking amazing. We have an ex-Microsoft uh, developer. According to WindowsCentral.com. Who went ahead and now is bringing over a software. Porting over software. That actually makes these phones <coughs> more relevant for the future. And to be honest... This is exactly what we need. Right now, this is not going to obviously in the foldable phone industry. This is, doesn't affect anything. Because Microsoft no longer sells the Surface Duo 1 and 2. But if you own a 1 and 2 and you spent that $1,500 price tag on either phone, you're getting your money back. Right? Oh, no. Sorry. Surface Duo 1, you spent like $1,200. <coughs> Duo 2, you spent like $1,500 on. You're getting your money back at least. Right? You're able to keep using the phone and not have to worry about it being stuck on Android 12L forever. Now, right now, Android 12L is not that big of a deal. But if we're going in the future here, you know, I don't know, four or five years. Realistically, you're still using these phones four or five years? Probably not. But it's nice to have that, you know, Android 13, Android 14 on these devices where if you use them in a couple of years, you can at least still have you know, usable devices. And especially with now with Windows, a Gus 33000 creating Windows on these devices. <clears throat> I mean, realistically speaking, yes, the software is outdated. Uh, I mean, the Surface Duo 2, not as much. Surface Duo 1 is. But the Surface Duo 2, with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, you can run Windows 11 and be very usable for a very long time. I mean, you're not going to be using it as, like, you know, your go-to daily device, probably. But it does have 5G. It does have a lot of great features. So, it just adds so much more, like, life to these devices. You know, we really thought, especially after Microsoft this last month canned it. They completely said, we're done. Surface Zero 1 and 2, we're over. No more updates, no more nothing. And now we get a sense of life breathe back into these devices. So I can't wait to see how much more we see on the Surface Duo 1 2 when it comes to the community really taking over. Um, but to this tweet right here, I am going to list this when they said like step over pixel fold. You're not really too far off when it comes to this because based on recent benchmarks, the pixel fold is pretty much the same power as the Surface Duo 2. Which is really bad. <laughs> Especially when the Surface Duo 2 came out two years ago. The Pixel Fold on Geekbench is the equivalent. They're, they're the same exact device power wise. Which is really, really just like, okay, that's not really that good at all. Now obviously the Surface Duo 2 has 8GB of RAM. The Pixel Fold has 12. But other than that, they're very similar. Tensor G2 chip, according to what has been reported to uh, Geekbench is the same equivalent of a Snapdragon uh, 8 Gen 2 chip. So, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting next couple months and years with these devices. But, 
with Microsoft, again, like I said, I'm going to clarify this. I do believe the, G the Surface Zero 3 is cancelled. I will always speak to the narrative that it might not be because, again, we never know with Microsoft. They could absolutely say it's cancelled. They could say it's cancelled themselves and then come out in a couple months with the device. But I believe it's cancelled. So this prolongs the Surface Duo lineup sats life in the universe. <laughs> that makes sense. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.